So I don't know if it's some sort of sign, divine intervention or what, but I have seen this product everywhere recently. So I thought it was about time that we tested it out for ourselves. So without further ado, I give you the Coco and Eve self tanner review. All right, so first things first, the kit that I got is the Bali Bay self tan kit. This kit includes their Sunny Honey self tanner, a tanning mitt, a kabuki brush, and a game changing, yes, game changing back tan applicator. Don't worry, we're gonna be talking about all of it as well as the formulation, application, color, smell, and longevity. The Sunny Honey Self Tanner comes in three shades medium which is good for lighter skin tones and will give you a sun-kissed glow dark which is perfect for medium skin tones if you want a back from vacation bronze and ultra dark this one is for deeper skin tones and will give you a deep rich tan i got mine in ultra dark because you know a girl can dream you get 6.7 fluid ounces in this product and each bottle has roughly 260 pumps that can last around 10 to 20 full body tanning sessions and if you were to buy the tanner on its own without it being in the kit it is 34.90 so this self tanner is formulated with 100 percent dha dha is the active ingredient in majority of self tanners and it's the ingredient that's going to get you tan but in addition to that this one has the tanning ingredient erythrulose. And the benefit of combining these two ingredients into one product is that it's not only going to help your product to develop faster, but it's gonna help to last longer. And it also helps to overcome like streakiness and any dryness. It also has some really good skin loving antioxidants in here. And it has raw virgin coconut to help keep the skin moisturized. So for the application, I thought this one was super easy to use. It's definitely beginner friendly if you're not really used to using self tanner. I had no issues spreading and blending this mousse around and it also has a color guard so that you know any spots that you're missing Like I say in every video I personally do like a color guard because I do like that security I know a lot of people don't but especially if you're like a beginner I feel like you definitely want to go with a color guard So with this product I never had any streakiness or blotchiness to the point where I've used this multiple times now and there were times where I put a lot of effort into my self tanning process. And then, you know, there's just those times where you just want to be tan really fast. You don't have the time or like the patience. So basically there were times where I just kind of like slapped it on and it still looked good the next day. So I think that it's kind of hard to make it not look good, uh, which is perfect because that's exactly what we want in a self tanner because you know, there's, there's just those times. So I use the tanning mitt that comes in the kit for the majority of my body. It's got like a really nice velvety texture. You can tell like it's a high quality made tanning mitt. It also has the plastic lining inside that's gonna help to prevent the tan from seeping through. And then I use the kabuki brush for any tricky areas. So like the hands, elbows, knees, ankles. It has soft nylon bristles that just really help to blend everything out. And then my life-saving product is the back tan applicator this is the whole reason that I picked this kit to get even though you can buy this on its own I'm pretty sure you get a discount on it if you buy it in the kit but I saw that and I was like yes I have to have that I have purchased uh, back tanners in the past let me just show you the one that I got from loving tan yeah no no comparison this one is useless pretty much. This one has the same velvety texture as the mitt. It's super easy to use. I was nervous when I first used it because I thought that when I put the mousse on here and you take it around to your back, I thought the mousse would fall off, but it did not stay exactly where it was supposed to. The only problem that I had was right in between my shoulder blades because it's not like a flat surface. So I just kind of had to like arch my arms up like this and I could use it and get right in between there and it was fine. So it takes a little maneuvering, but it's definitely worth it. Even if you have someone to help self tan your back, it's nice to be an independent self tanner. Just saying. So the dry time. I felt like as I was putting the self tanner on that it didn't dry down quickly, which again is another reason like I think that it's good for beginners. So it was easy to spread without drying down. But after I was finished, it took a roughly three minutes before I got dressed and I felt like it had dried down fast. Now, typically you do not want to put on self tanner and then 
put on some white clothing. But for the sake of this video, I decided that I was going to put on a old like white dingy sweatshirt that I have and see if there was legitimately any transfer. And I am happy to say that I wore that sweater all throughout the day and then I even slept in it overnight and no transfer. For the color that they use, it is a green gray base. I think this is a really good combination to give you a like dark, deep tan that looks more natural than a lot of the other self tanners that I've used and also it's not going to leave you looking orange at all. So it's gonna give you more of like a golden glow and let me tell you, it gets you dark. I was, I was a little surprised because I just did one layer. This is one layer right now and it's just, it's, I feel like I'm super dark. So I'm perfectly satisfied with one layer because I feel like you're using less product. So the product's gonna last longer. But if you're trying to go like tropical, tropical, then by all means, two layers would definitely get you there. Keep in mind though that I do have the ultra dark, like I said, so that's, Kind of why I like to go for the darkest color because I feel like you can use less and still get a really dark tan. For the longevity, this lasted me for a good seven days. But let me clarify because it wasn't as dark at the seventh day than it was when I first put it on. So obviously it did gradually fade as the week went on, but at on the seventh day I could still tell that I had some color left on there. So that's not really typical for a lot of the self tanners that I've used. They kind of fade a little bit faster than that. And of course, that's also gonna be determined by you know how much contact you have with water, how much you're sweating, and if you're maintaining the tan by like putting on lotion and taking care of it. So I don't wanna say that this self tanner is going to last like X amount of days, but it has the potential to if you treat it properly. And it did just gradually fade off. It wasn't splotchy, it didn't peel off. The only trouble that I have, which is the trouble that I have with all self tanners I feel that I've used, is on like the tops of my arms for some reason. I don't know what it is. Let me know if you have that problem too in the comments. But yeah, it kind of comes off weird on my arms. But that's how it's always been with other self tanners too. It's not terribly bad and it's not like super noticeable, but it, it does come off a little funky on my arms. So I love the color of this product, the ease of application, but I have to say, the thing that I love the most about this self tanner is the smell. And that is something I never thought I would say. <laughs> and it's not so much the smell when you're putting it on, which smells amazing by the way. It says it's a tropical mango and guava scent, which I feel like it smells like apples to me for some reason. I don't know, but it smells amazing regardless. But it's the smell once it develops that did it for me. It doesn't have that incredibly strong self tanning smell. And if you watch my last self tanning video, coming from that one, like this one is a dream. <laughs> Cause there are some self tanners that get, well majority of self tanners I feel that you put it on and they the smell just gets worse as the day goes on. And not only that, but it lingers for days. Like even after you take a shower and put on lotion and do all that, like the smell still lingers with you the next day and sometimes even the day after that. Like that's, that's extreme. But this one is not like that at all. So it has a slight, like slight self tanning smell. But then the next day when I showered and I didn't even use body wash, I just used warm water, which is technically what you're supposed to do after you self tan is just to use warm water, not use body wash. But sometimes you got to because the smell is so bad. But this time I only used water and I did not smell like a self tanner at all. So that in itself, takes this self tanner to the top. So if you can give me a beautiful color that lasts, easy application, doesn't come off splotchy, and has a very minimal self tanner smell, you are my new favorite. So I 100% recommend this self tanner if you are looking for a new one. Again, I'll leave everything linked down below. I hope you guys found this video helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. It really does help my channel out and I appreciate it so very much. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I do self tanning reviews all the time. I hope you guys have an amazing week and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Yeah, yeah.
tools are cracking. Freeze a party, come move around. Like fresh fresh when the school is out, when the booze is up, when the sun is down. Enjoy the ride, that's what we 